Okay, so I'm um, off the phone. And coincidentally enough, that the person who was calling me was calling and talking about just what I've been talking about. This keeps happening over and over and over to me. Like, I I see the magic that is going on, man. It's crazy. But so I want to talk about a little bit what, because um, she works in the system, she, uh, social worker, you know, and she works with people who are seriously struggling. Like, some of the stuff is just, oh, my gosh. So frustrating because so many people are just struggling and suffering so much. And you just don't have to. People are just misled. They're going the wrong direction of how to feel good. It's so much more simpler. They just, they want to just, you know, have you out there searching for Easter eggs. And people are just getting so and so much worse and worse and worse. It's so, so sad, man. It's just super frustrating. And um, one of the things that she was talking about, too, was, uh, you know, being so outraged by our judicial and um, I said, well, the judicial is basically a vetting system for criminals. It's just so that the bad criminals can find their footmen. So, yeah, you do certain crimes. Well, you just got yourself a job. Then, um, I mean, it's just built around crime, you know, a certain crimes, especially sex those ones, those are the ones I really prefer. If you go in for something like that, especially if it, you go for younger ones, I, it, it's just the same thing as like when they go to the university and you show you've got no integrity and they ask you, hey, come join the Skull and Bones, we need you. <laughs> it's like, oh, it's the same kind of thing. They want the criminals. Uh, so, yeah, you go to jails, uh, that's where they want to find their people. And she was talking about the, um, like, what has gone on. We were talking about different communities, you know. And they always, they'll put them in a, the ghetto, you know. They'll create this place that is just, it's, it's kind of like the hell of any city or community. It's like, where it's just, it's Nancy Pelosi's district. Look up that, you know, that's what she's done. So that's what she's created. And um, just go in and look about that. I don't know. And I grew up in Dallas in the 60s and 70s. So I was around. Um, they had the ghetto. The ghetto was downtown. It's where they put all the black people. But a long time ago, you know, because they do segregation. They just do it underhandedly. They're dastardly. But they're always telling us that how hard they're working for these people. Oh, we're doing everything we can. It's you guys. They'd have jobs if it weren't for you. If you guys weren't so racist, you'd be. It's like, what the fuck? God damn. You don't, I mean, you don't even, you, you segregate. You keep them locked up. You jailed them. <laughs> and uh, the, you know, just all the way back to the boys in the hood when they were speaking out about, like, there's a liquor store and a gun store on every fucking corner. Like, what community has built that? The community they want to thrive, a community they don't want violence. And then they put the abortion clinics on every other corner. And, uh, you know, have a bunch of guys who are desperate, trying to survive. You know, willing to steal, willing to commit crimes to feed their family. And then just be standing there ready to arrest them. You know, reprogramming, no, like, job search, no, you know, redistribution of, um, jobs or you know what a difference that they could make if an industry moved into the ghetto and gave these people jobs like they think like oh these people will just commit crimes if they had a job well now maybe because you've done this for so many generations that they don't have i mean you've destroyed their work ethic you just beat it out of them you've made them feel like there's no hope there's no way i'll never get ahead and you've showed them, you know, what you do with inflation, how you, you, you know, throw a couple cents our way as you're raising everything to skyrocket so that we have to work three or four jobs. I mean, working one job a long time ago, that used to be, you know, okay, dad would go to work. Then it was, well, mom and dad, then they did their whole little movement 
of like, well, a, a woman who's progressive, a woman who cares about herself, she wants to get out there and work. You don't need to raise your kids. What the hell are you talking about? We got schools. And so then it was a two job. Well, then it became a three job because one of the people had to work more than one job. Then it was, um, I mean, how many people are trying to juggle several little jobs, you know? You used to just need one for a whole house. And you could own a home, own two cars. But they don't, you know, that's not what they want. They just want slaves. And so in the, you know, in their little ghettos that they create is, um, you know, they make it so horrible that the, the guys are committing crimes. They're just locking them away. You know, Jesus Christ, steal TV, get life. And then you got some rich kid, you kill a family and, uh, well, we'll send you to Mexico to decompress, you know, relax. Yeah, that, but... I mean, you've got old men, old black men that have been in prison their whole lives for like fucking stealing a pack of gum. You know, maybe it wasn't life or death. Maybe that was all he was going to have to eat that day was a fucking piece of gum. You don't fucking know. You don't know what his life was like. But that's not a crime like that. But that's how they, so they want to destroy these communities. You know, they've got him and you think they can't go in and stop the violence? they can you know I me mean? people are live in those communities that are just so frustrated uh you know that want the the other people to see like you are being used if you're killing your neighbor you're being used by them to destroy your own community you got to do the opposite of what they want go out and start fucking planting flowers have a goddamn street uh street fair or street party or whatever they bring their grill out and go out in their yard, bring your ice chest, bring some chairs out, somebody bring some music out, and go out and get to know your neighbors, have some fun, uh, play some music, and uh, dance in the streets. That's how you win. Killing each other for their fucking bullshit, that's not how we win. But destroying these people, and then, you know, they can go in there, um, make these poor women, oh, you, you, here's your best opportunity, your best option, you know, the, your family is going to be fucked, you don't have anybody who's going to be able to help you, so you should probably just get an abortion, and then just do it again later, and they don't do birth control and stuff, because they make so much money off of these uh, little black babies, and they, they it's big money for them, and uh, that's all they need, is just some, they don't even have to tell these women what they're doing, those women aren't making money off of it. These people who take their babies and sell them for so, 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 so warped. And this stuff has gone on for so long. And she's being out, so outraged about the, when they came in and broke up the indigenous people. And then they took them and they said, well, we need to educate your children. We're going to send them to these schools. We'll, we'll, we'll put them in these boarding schools and prepare them so they can go and go to go be educated like the the white kids we'll we'll put them in there but you know they're not quite there yet we gotta we gotta teach them how to learn so that they can go in because well, then they kill them probably sold them probably trafficked them and whatever you know because that's just what they do and i probably just said a word that about cars you know how traffic is when it's like that so you know, you can be blocked up for hours and hours on a freeway. <laughs> but, yeah, this has been going on for so long. And they've got all their ways of trying to make us just walk right into it. To think it's like a good idea. They're always marketing these ways of um, being. Just like that whole movement about to get, so that they would get kids out of the house. I mean, what a perfect, perfect way to take over. <laughs> it's, it's, it's so nutty. And, um, but, but people haven't woke up to it yet. I mean, like I said before, you know, people are waking up to different parts, different aspects. They haven't woke up to the whole thing. It's like this slow, slow process. 
of, um, you know, realizations to these aha moments. That's why I'm always like trying to toss matches, like just throw it out there, see if it catches so that they can, you know, like, wait, what? So, um, I'm, I'm always like somebody, if somebody opens up to one little thing, it's like the perfect segue into giving them a lot of more information because there's a lot of stuff that is going on and everybody needs to wake the fuck up. That's for sure. God, there was, oh, I've got so many things going in and out of my mind that I want to talk about and, um, but I'll get them at the same time and I can't say them as fast. There was something that I just, um, I wanted to say, I'm going to start right back because there's some more stuff that I wanted to talk about, but you know, that is, that is the thing is that they are, I mean, the, the genocide is, it's been going on for a while, you know? I mean, this is like, this is like they've got the banana split made and they're putting the whipped cream and cherries on it right now, you know? Like they, they worked up, they, they, they were building the building blocks to get us to this time right now. And they, you know, wanted us to walk off the plank. And luckily, you know, that God energy was like, no, but it's all about the timing. I mean, it's like, it, it was always going to happen at this time because it is the going to the new age. Like things have been being exposed for a long time. I mean, there's people who've been waking up to certain things for fuck, 20, 30 years. Like I was woke up to, you know, the lies when I was a kid. As soon as I started saying that there was aliens and people were like, no, there's not. They thought that was so crazy. And was, I, so people have been aware of some things, but now it's all just coming like to a head. And because it, it can't go on. It can't, be, it can't be part of the new age. I'll be back in a sec. I got to let them out. <laughs> 